All right, so a couple of things I'm doing today. Um, I am masking off the window to make sure that the Sika Flex does not get on the paint. So this uh, little vinyl tape roll works pretty well. Uh, other thing I've been doing, let's see, I uh, tidied up the lines. Um, let's see, one thing I did here was to avoid any interference with the rear pedals. Simply just put in some uh, zip ties on each side and secure it in the middle. Worked out pretty well. Did that there, as well as up here. That's quite nice. Um, let's see here. Working on the brake line and just tightening up the rest. And beyond the uh, little vinyl tape, I added some uh, painter's tape just to give me a little bit more of a margin for error if I uh, tend to over cover um, to the inside and outside. So uh, everything's protected. All right, so I got the windshield all trimmed out, um, marked off where the overlap is with a little Sharpie. And now I trimmed it with the, uh, the vinyl tape and put some, uh, you know, painter's tape around the edge. So now what I'm doing is using the uh, Sikaflex uh, 205 the activator. I guess it's the cleaner. And all you do is just use a paper towel and clean off the bonding surface. So pretty straightforward. I'll do this as well to the uh, fuselage, the canopy section, and uh, they'll be nice and clean. After that, we use some other uh, Sika Flex stuff. All right, now I'm uh, doing the primer. This is the uh, Sika Primer 209. And it's some nasty stiff, all black and gooey. So let's put some on the sponge and just dab it on. Careful, it does run. I almost got it onto the main windshield and it does not come off easily. So also wear gloves. I did that uh, activator stuff uh, without gloves and I could immediately feel the burn. So that's some nasty acetone-like stuff. All right, get that all done. Looking nice and clean. Now I come over here and we're doing the 206 on the composite parts. So the same thing, just all right. It is a uh, windshield putting on day. Uh, I got a thick bead of Sika Flex on the front and all around and we'll go ahead and place the window on and hopefully got it right uh, and then it's all about putting it uh, pressure where the bead is and make sure it bonds. All right we did it here. My buddy Brian uh, helped place all these straps and foam blocks. Uh, the main idea here with the foam blocks is to push in on the sides to make sure there's a good adhesion. Uh, I guess a Windshield tends to bow out at the corners there. Uh, but for the most part, it looks good. I set a bead to try to uh, even out any gaps. And of course, uh, use some bungees to pull it in on the sides. Looking good though. Finally got my AVU engineering uh, max event. So it's a nice bowl vent that you can move around. Uh, it's a two inch diameter and uh, has a nice tight seal for the airflow. So looking forward to replacing on my dash.